Good morning, MUC two, uh, MUCT 211 class. This is the midweek lecture for week eight. Okay, we're going to do another three harmonic dictations this time. Um, remember, you also need to do uh, the three from last week, when uh, the ones you were supposed to do when I was in uh, New Orleans. So we're going to do all six of these uh, together on uh, next Fridays. But uh, make sure that you're uh, spending enough time that you can get all of this stuff down. Okay, so here's what we're going to do today. Um, excuse me, last time... We um, reviewed um, a, a, a secondary dominance and root position, and I was kind of warming up the secondary dominant with the chord that immediately preceded it without the chromatic inflection, like two appearing to become major two, but actually five of five. Okay. Then, number two, numbers two and three of the previous example from, from last week, we dealt with those in first inversion. Uh, and first inversion, of course, puts the chromatic note uh, for most of this, uh, the secondary dominants in the bass. Now, we're going to deal with the um, secondary dominant in second inversion. Okay, so again, the chromatic inflection is no longer uh, in the bass. And so let's just review what that looks like. So if we were to go from one, for instance, and we wanted to do a five, uh, a five of five, but in second inversion, okay, we would go down. And what I'm going to do this time, I'm going to, uh, for the first couple of examples, I'm going to warm up the uh, second inversion, secondary dominant, with a chord that has the same bass note. Okay, and you'll see what I mean in just a minute. So what I want to do is I want to get to... Uh, 5, 7, of 5 in second inversion. Remember, 5, 7, of 5 appears to be major 2. It has uh, a D, an F sharp, and an A. So second inversion, let's put the A, double the bass, put the F sharp here, and the D in the soprano. So we'll warm that up with a chord. So here's 5, 6, 4, of 5, and 1. We'll start that, we'll transition from the 1 to that with the chord that has the same root note. Okay, that way we can go from one to the other relatively smoothly. In this case, of course, six. Okay, it's pretty easy to go because you've got the doubled roots in the same place and just two differences in tones going up in sixths. Okay, so the first couple of examples, numbers one and two, I'm going to uh, uh, warm it up that way. Number three, and I'll remind you when we get there, but in number three, I am going to combine the secondary dominant chords in first inversion and second inversion. So the ones that we've already done, the ones the previous three that you did in the last video, um, we'll use that system and combine it with those that are in second inversion. Okay, so we're going to kind of put those two together and eventually we're going to get where they can be in any inversion in any, any different way. So let's start with number one. Okay, we're going to go with our same uh, standard setup, bass only two times, then SATB two times. Okay, spend the time that it needs, the, spend the time that it takes to be able to get all four voices as much as you can, um, knowing at least you know the soprano and the bass and the chord progression. And then uh, if you can't hear the inner voices, do your very best to listen to it as many times as you need to hear it, and then get into uh, you know, use your theoretical knowledge to get uh, those voices together. Okay, here's number one. This is going to be, of course, a grand staff. Get yourself a grand staff, C major, tied together with a ligature. This is going to be five chords only. Beginning with one, here's, uh, here's the bass only. Here's the bass only. Starting with Do in the bass, major one in the space below. Five chords total. Here, I'll play it two times. Ready, go.
figure out where that secondary dominant is and what it uh, what what its identification is and where it goes to. All right, let's do SATB. Here's my voicing for number one. Number one, let's do number two. Number two is going to have six chords. Again, major mode, um, starting with a do in the bass one in the first space, going through six chords, also uh, dealing with a secondary dominant in second inversion. Okay, first here is the bass only run through. Okay, with bass in the chords. On that, make sure that you've got the bass line and the chord progression in good shape, and then we'll go SATB. All right, here we go, two times, six chords, ready, go. as you need to get that accurately. Okay, let's um, go SATB. Here's the voice leading for the first chord. Alright, here we go. SATB. For number three, this is going to be a little bit more lengthy, a little more extensive. There will be eight chords, so a full phrase length. Um, we're going to uh, deal with uh, uh, secondary dominance in both first inversion and second inversion. Okay, um, eight chords, do in the bass, one in the space, just like we start in major mode. Six chords, bass only. Let's do it. Ok, 
Okay, here it is. Bass only. Ready? Go. as you need. Here we are, SATV, here's the voicing. Should be very familiar. Okay, that's it for those three. So uh, this coming Friday, Friday of week eight, we're going to look at all uh, six of them together. Okay, we'll see you guys then.